Hey guys, and welcome to the third episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke we're playing through. Um, a few things before we start. Let me just press start right here. Okay, so a few things before we start, as I said. I'm trying to be a bit more energetic when I talk, when I interact with you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm not that much of an energetic person uh, by default. So it's kind of it's kind of making a stretch of who I am, I guess. But at the same time, I actually think it makes it a little bit more fun to play video games while being energetic. So I'm going to try it for a bit. If you guys have any opinions on this, uh, make sure to let me know. I really appreciate feedback. It really he helps me, you know, like modify the channel based on what you guys want to see. And, of course, of what I enjoy, because this is mutual, of course. And a few other things. I think this episode might be a bit more a bit on the shorter side, in comparison to what you guys are used to in Pokemon. Mainly because all we have left, as you're about to see, is a half of the Viridian Forest, or maybe even less of half, and a beating Brock. And since we have our good friend um, Ari to carry us to the Rooting Forest, it won't be any trouble. And since we have Herbert for the gym, it won't be any trouble either. So, um, let's see. I was going to say something else and I'm not remembering. Okay, I didn't train any of our Pokemon. Why? Because that would entail that I had to travel through the Rooting Forest all the way back. Um, to the previous city, which was Viridian, and I thought it, it wasn't necessary exactly at this point. Wait, let me fix the camera a little bit. Uh, I think that's okay. I think it is. Okay, I thought it wasn't necessary, um, and that's because since we're going to go face Brock, which is a rock time gym leader, and we have Herbert, which is already level 10, I really don't think, even though he's underleveled, I don't think he's going to have a problem. If he does have a problem, I'll just cut the video and farm. But the reason why I didn't want to continue and farm uh, later, you know, uh, since we're closer to, to Brock City, which I think is Pewter City, uh, is because that would mean I had to face the trainers and I didn't want to face the trainers that were remaining because, of course, that's content that I wanted to leave on camera. And also because, oh, I want to use Gustav. Also because there's a patch of grass outside of Viridian Forest, and that's where we're going to catch our sixth member, or our fifth. I think it's our last member of the party for now. I, I, I'm not sure. But okay, I didn't train our other Pokemon either, because none of them were going to prove any use against Brock. So uh, I saw no point to doing that. In this interval I am going to do it after this video of course because we have to head all the way through Mount Moon and I want our other Pokemon to actually participate in the in the gameplay the walkthrough in this Nuzlocke so that's basically it that's basically all the news I have we're just finishing up wrapping up this trainer I think there might be like one or two more and if I'm correct, there's like two patches of grass left or something like that. We aren't going to bother fighting any wild Pokemon, as I said. Because that's just time consuming. And to be honest, if you guys want to see it, just let me know, I will. Uh, but that would entail that the videos will get a bit uh, longer than they are. And I reckon that's not a real problem, to be honest. Um, it'll only take a little bit longer to upload. And maybe a little bit longer to edit. Mm, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. So let's see. I think there's an item down here. Let's go get it. It's a potion. Uh, yeah, it's a potion. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, having healing, healing items is never a bad thing, to be honest. You can never be too careful. And this is the last trainer, if, if I'm correct. Well, this is a wild Pokemon, but last trainer is right there. Once we run away. Perfect. Let's see. I'm assuming more bug Pokemon because, you know, bug catcher dudes just be like that sometimes. But okay, let's see. 
The game's lagging a bit. I'm not sure why. It normally doesn't lag. It's a Weedle. Level 9. That's gonna be some good XP. I reckon uh, Ari is leveling up. Level 14. Let's see. Oh, and it's a one shot. That's beautiful. I didn't notice, but she learned Quick Attack, right? In, in the past, in the previous battle. Which is useful since it's priority. And uh, I really appreciate priority, especially in, in the situation where we don't want any of our Pokemon to die. And. Well, yeah, we can avoid speed ties as much as possible now with priority on Anari. So, even though she, she is a quick girl, she's a quick girl. Okay, so we're here. I'm going to actually switch into Bulbasaur to catch this Pokemon because Ari is is fed. <laughs> she's four level above Herbert. And these Pokemon are probably like around level three to five, I think. It's still around that range, right? Let's see. It's a Rattata. Do we catch another Rattata? Don't we have like two Rattatas? Should I... Should I just let it go? Or... Because we have two of them, right? Yeah, we have Remy and Lewis. Uh, They're both level 3. I'm not sure, dude. Uh, I could have used the dupe class. But I, I truly don't want to because I know there's not any good Pokemon I want here otherwise, so let's just catch it. If, if he survives one with, he gets caught. If he doesn't, then let him die. Okay, he doesn't. Perfect. I don't want him. Let's continue then. And that's XP for Herbert. Okay. So, there is no uh, sixth member to our party just yet. We're gonna heal up and we're heading straight to the gym without hesitation, to be honest. And we're, we're going to hope even though Herbert is a tad underleveled, his Vine Whip is enough to do the trick. And I'm pretty sure he's a tanky boy. Uh, I think Herbs can, can deal with with any rock type moves or even tackles that they may throw at us. Uh, Onyx doesn't have that much attack to be honest. I think he has like the same attack as a Caterpie which is actually kind of stupid but I don't care. Um, I'm also hyped because we get our running shoes after this if I'm pretty sure. I think our, our mother gives it to us like when we go um, never okay when we go like east or something like that I think so let's see let's see what happens here uh, you're 10,000 light years from facing Brock uh, no I'm not I'm like right in front of him and I'm going to destroy you so there's no point arguing I think they have like Geodudes uh, Sandshrews if I'm correct and well Onyx of course and I think nothing else. I don't think they have Sturdy either, do do they? Maybe Onyx has uh, Sturdy, or maybe one of his Geodudes has it. Uh, I don't think Sanshu can have Sturdy. I don't think he, he can have that ability. So there's no worries about that. Mm, I, think, I think this is basically going to be a sweep, even though we're like right on level and probably under leveled for Brock. Um... I don't think I'm going to bother, I'm not going to bother healing. They don't have like any really powerful moves that can threaten Herbert at all, even if they're a tad over leveled in comparison. So he's he's already level 12, you know? He's not even that under leveled e either, either, whatever. Uh, and he's, he's basically almost level 13 for, he might be level 13 when he faces uh, Onyx if Brock doesn't send him out first. Uh, we're gonna heal just just in case. I know it's just a little bit of HP, but nonetheless, uh, I think it's necessary just to be secure. I prefer to take uh, one or two more minutes to head over to the Poke Center instead of risking Herbert's life in a Nuzlocke. That's not fun. So, um, off camera, what I might do also, apart from leveling them up, is buy maybe a few potions, a few Pokeballs. Just in case we need them, I never want to run short on Pokeballs because who, who knows if we encounter a Pokemon that... Well, if we encounter any Pokemon basically that we can catch because we don't want to risk having to lose Pokemon, you know, possible catches. I say that but we just killed a, a Rattata that we could have caught, but I didn't want to catch it, that's the thing. 
And I'm gonna save here because I always save before gym battles because you know why? Why not? It makes things easier. It makes you feel more safe. It makes you feel more more confident about where, what you're about to do. And I reckon confidence is key when when doing anything. To be honest, this isn't even Pokemon related. Just ra me rambling on, I guess. Uh, blah blah blah. Fuha ha ha ha. That's a weird laugh. Okay. You're going to challenge me, you know you lose, blah blah blah, we have Herbert, we're not gonna lose. I say this and then we lose, but no, no, we're not gonna lose. Confidence, confidence. Oh, he only has two, I thought he had three, I don't know why. His Judo is level 12, his Onyx is probably like level 14, right? Uh, I reckon we might level up if we kill this Judo. We one-shot it, that's actually beautiful. It's basically a 1v1 against Onyx. Yeah, we leveled up, 13, and uh, it's majestic. So, what I'm going to do actually, since I'm going to be uh, leveling off camera, I'm going to leave Herbert at level 15. So next episode, um, he can evolve on camera because I don't want him evolving off camera. That would just be sad. Oh, bind. He's faster. Who knew Onyx would be fast? Whatever. Critical. I'm happy with that. I wasn't expecting a critical. Uh, I'm not sure if I was expecting a one shot. I'm not sure I was expecting a level up either. Which means Herbert is only going to have to level up one more level off camera. Um, Ari as well. But uh, Remy, Lewis, and Sherbert. They're going to have to level up quite a bit. I don't know. Should I level up Sherbert? Because. Uh, she's inevitably gonna evolve twice actually if I level her up all the way to to 15 or 14 she's gonna pass through Metapod and she's gonna pass through um, what you call it Butterfree what I might do this is Rock Tomb right Rock Tomb Rock Tomb I don't know I think it's Rock Tomb um, what I might do is since I'm gonna have to level her up off camera because I don't want to do that grinding session on camera when she's about to evolve i'm going to uh record only record the gameplay and include that at the beginning of of next week's episode i'm not going to do any face cam or anything just for the evolution it's just going to be so you guys can see well the evolution and uh i'm going to heal right here and i reckon Let's go get the boots, the, the running shoes, and we'll end it right there, I suppose. Just so we don't have to go through that dialogue next episode, uh, because next episode most probably will be a bit longer than than this episode. It, it probably only will be the whole way through the route that we have to take towards Mount Moon, uh, but that itself is kind of long. Oh, it's not our mother, it's this dude that actually... I think he talked with our mother, right? Or I don't know. Maybe our mother gives our shoes in another, another gen. I don't, I don't know. Okay, that wasn't as, as long as a dialogue as I remember. Uh, oh, it was her mom. Nice, it was her mother. And uh, there we go. We can run. So, I suppose that's the end of this episode. Uh, we actually did. Much better than I was expecting. I mean, I wasn't expecting for anyone to die or anything of the sort. But I was expecting it to last a little bit longer. But, okay. Everyone's healed, right? Uh, I just want to check on that. Yeah, everyone's healed. And we're going to level them up a bit. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be ending the episode. From this point on, you can click off. I'm going to be saying a few things regarding YouTube and, you know, other stuff. Okay. As I always say, I leave a bunch of my dis uh, links in the description below. I leave links to my social media, uh, Instagram and Twitter, basically, and I think LinkedIn, but I don't know. If you guys use LinkedIn, go ahead and talk to me through there. Um, I leave an invitation for my Discord channel. You're welcome to join, and you can also talk to me through there. Uh, if you have any suggestions uh, or anything to say in general, you can leave that in the comments or social media, of course. And my blog. Uh, I always mention my blog. 
I use it to write because uh, sometimes I'm bored and I like writing and you know why not have a place to write where other people can read it as well I think it's kind of fun I leave the description below you can visit it you're welcome to I post every Sunday on there so love you all guys and I wish you a wonderful week and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the rest of the videos I'm going to be posting this week. Goodbye, love you all.